Welcome to True Hunt, and today we have got with us Professor Dr. Ashok Ratan, uh, who is the Chairman of Medical Committee at Red Cliff Labs India, and uh, he is going to talk to us about the monkeypox, uh, which is uh, all over debated that from where it is uh, arrived and uh, what sort of spread is causing a damage to the human life. Sir, uh, welcome to the True Hunt, and I hope that you are safe and doing well as you are traveling to UK and you have joined us. Thank you so much uh, for that. Sir, my first uh, question, please brief us about the monkeypox. You would like to hear a synopsis uh, in a layman language so that the viewers can understand. Please. Okay. Monkeypox is uh, badly named but and wrongly named. So let me start with that. It's a pox virus. Pox virus means it's a DNA virus. It, it belongs to the ortho uh, pox virus families in which you had smallpox and you have Vercinia and you have uh, cowpox also. And uh, now pox viruses have been there causing infection in humans since eternity. So this was in 1970 that a nine-month-old child in Congo which was declared as uh, smallpox free in 1968, two years previously, had this virus infection which was then confirmed in Moscow lab then when they looked at the literature, they found that in 1956, uh, when animal monkeys were imported from Singapore to Denmark, then those monkeys suffered from a postular lesion, which looked the same and similar kind of virus was isolated. So since monkeys were the first one affected, they called that as monkeypox. But monkeys are not the source or the reservoir of infection uh, and it appeared then that rodents are the ones which cause infection but we don't we have not been able to pinpoint which is the rodent so this virus has two stages of transmission one is the rodents will transmit infection to humans this is the primary infection and the secondary infection is human transmitting infection to humans. Uh, the, this is a virus which affects uh, the skin, but it enters through the uh, through the respiratory tract. So there would be a stage of um, incubation period. Then there will be a prodrome. Then a person will feel febrile for some time, three or four days. Then a rash will appear. And when the rash uh, disappears, most of it is self-limiting. In majority of cases, a monkeypox person, person who has suffered from monkeypox, will recover and have immunity against it. Those who were vaccinated against smallpox also had some amount of protection. If you talk about within India, how uh, the bath labs are dealing with it? Are they are well equipped to uh, test this? Uh, like you know, the other other tests are normally done in India. So, are they well equipped the path labs, or still some path labs have got that technology? Some are lagging, or how? What is your take on this? Uh, Three thousand labs by September, ICMR as well as NABL had approved about three thousand labs spread all over India. So that means uh, we would presume that all these labs have the capability of doing PCR. Now, since this is a DNA virus, do not need uh, the reverse transcriptase, but real-time PCR, the capability is available. I think permission is required and the reagents need to be provided with a positive control. In the West, in USA especially, uh, immediately when, uh, when a few cases came, the central government decided that besides CDC, there will be about five or six private labs which will be able to do monkeypox detection. Because uh, the diagnosis of infection, you cannot differentiate between, uh, between one pox and another pox just on clinical grounds. And it can be confused with chicken pox. Some people have also confused it with measles. So uh, on clinical grounds, though there are diff subtle differences, but definite diagnosis requires laboratory support. And I would think that all these 3,000 labs are capable if reagents and permission are provided and supervision is given to be able to diagnose. So that within the day, you can make the diagnosis and thereby prevent contact with other persons. Because isolation for 21 days, till the scabs separate and new, new skin comes, a person is infectious. 
So a longer incubation, longer uh, isolation is required. But it could be home isolation because in majority of cases, uh, persons will recover. At the same time, I must say that there are complications associated with monkeypox. So those who are immunocompromised, those who are small, small children, they are at increased risk and it can cause bronchopneumonia, it can cause encephalitis, it can cause blindness. So a person should not take monkeypox lightly. But yes, majority of persons recover. Sir, uh, of course, uh, we uh, when we talk about healthcare uh, workers who are of course at the front line dealing with the patients, and when we come to the monkeypox treatment, what precautions are necessary for the healthcare workers? Please, if you can give some. Uh, see, uh, since it is transmitted through the respiratory route uh, when a person is at close contact or through the body fluids or through the skin scrapings. And that would mean that every healthcare worker, when dealing with a person suspected or confirmed with monkeypox, should wear a, a fully protected PPE. That would mean a face shield, a mask, a gown, uh, gloves, and if possible, boots, so that, uh, uh, that every part is protected. And uh, if they can be vaccinated, that would be best. Sir, uh, we talk about CDC guidelines uh, for clinics. Uh, so can you give some uh, sort of elaboration on that? CD CDC has tried to say, and uh, WHO has recently brought out uh, a, a training uh, training program in which they say that uh, the person can be isolated at home or, uh, or in the hospital. Um, normally, uh, they, the treatment is symptomatic. There is rash. Uh, before rash, there will be fever for three or four days. Those uh, three or four days fever can be treated with either cold compress or with paracetamol. Then once the, once the rashes appear, the rashes can appear also in the mouth. Uh, in that case, you might have to use uh, Vaseline or anesthetic uh, cream so that... Uh, a person can drink because this is very painful and the skin it should be left dry and maybe given antibiotics if need be if there is secondary infection uh, subsequently if a person develops pneumonia or bronchopneumonia because it can lead to a, a necrosis of the of the of the lungs a person must be hospitalized and uh, there are drugs available uh, available in india also but um, it has not been proposed that uh, drugs need to be given. And their hyperimmunoglobulins could be given. But again, uh, they're not they're not recommended. So mostly the treatment is symptomatic and isolation. Sir, my last question. Of course, uh, um, you are the best uh, person to ask about the healthcare system. And uh, with our, and if we talk about uh, India itself, our India, sir, the healthcare system and facilities you are well aware of, are those facilities able to cope up if this uh, monkeypox increases? Sir, with the infrastructure and facilities, what we have got, please, you your see, take on this. One, one is that it is not highly infectious. The virus is not highly infectious. Uh, if you stay one meter away from a person who's infected, you would not be uh, you not be infected. As a consequence, that would mean that a person who suspected uh, to be suffering from small from uh, monkeypox should stay indoor, stay at home, and stay at home till all the rashes uh, rash goes through a uh, stages where first it appears as macule a hard nodule within the skin, then it becomes a papule, then it becomes a vesicle. Vesicle means fluid containing. Then it gets infected, so it becomes a pustule. Then it crusts. When the crusts will fall and new skin will, uh, will form, you are no longer infectious. So stay at home and not meet other persons during that time. But it appears that there is repeated introduction of animal to human transmission. So we need to understand which animal is the, is the reservoir because monkeys like us suffer from infection. They are not the reservoir. So mon that means monkey pox is wrongly named. It is infection of the monkeys, 
not spread by monkeys alone. It's a rodent infection. We need to identify whether it is the squirrel or whether it is the rat. or a, Because in experimental animals, it has not been able to succeed too well. So uh, we need to uh, do that. And that's why we uh, they tend to say that we should handle this by one health. One health means that we should take care of the animals, take care of human beings, and take care of our environment. Uh, if deforestation is occurring and the houses of rodents are being disturbed, these rodents will move towards where human beings are there or they'll move away from there. As a consequence, it will lead to more exposure to these viruses. That is one. The second one is if we were talking to veterinarians and veterinarians have identified which animal is infected, we can take precautions. And then third is we should get ourselves vaccinated. Vaccination offers us good protection once it is available. Sir, uh, lastly, what I could take out from your words, of course, health is uh, precious than uh, anything in the world and the environment around us. Uh, which has the nature has gifted us should be protected so that the health and the nature can uh, give us a better life. Sir, uh, I think so you agree with my words, sir. Yes, that's right. Uh, I think you uh, summed it up very well. Uh, thank you so much. This was uh, Dr. Ashok Ratan, Chairman, Medical Committee, Red Cliff Labs, India. Thank you so much. Jain, sir. Thank you.